What's up? I'm Triple Shoot. Welcome back to another video. In this quick one, I'll be showing you brand new AI tech that is absolutely mind blowing, and that is Facebook Researcher's Audio Craft. I've created yet again another one line installer to make this install and setup process super simple, even if you don't have a Python installed. The install steps here aren't super confusing, but at least by running this one line install script, you'll end up with a useful shortcut on your desktop, and of course, a much easier life if you're not adept with the command line. These one line install scripts are super accessible, but they do take some time to create and even more effort to maintain. So if you do appreciate these, check out my Patreon or consider clicking join or thanks below this video. Without further ado, let's get to generating some crazy music using AI and just text, or of course, melody, if you'd like to feed it that as well. While they do say you require 16 gigs of VRAM, you really don't. This can run on anywhere from maybe four gigabytes of VRAM, so a relatively recent graphics card should be more than happy with running this. Without further ado, let's get to installing this. The one line install script is super easy to use. Hit start, type in terminal if you're on Windows 11 and run this as administrator. If you're on Windows 10 or just don't see terminal, search for PowerShell and run that as admin. If you opened up terminal, make sure that it says PowerShell at the very top. Otherwise, click the drop down and choose Windows PowerShell here. Now that we're all in PowerShell, all we need to do is type in IEX space and inside of brackets IRM space audio craft.tc.ht and close brackets. You'll find this in the description down below. This will download and run my open source install script, which you can read the source for in the description down below. It's super transparent. First of all, you'll be asked where you'd like to install it. If you've installed software using my one line installers before, this should already be set up for you. But even so, it's not really difficult at all. Then it'll go ahead and download Git if you don't already have it. The same goes for FFmpeg as well. Then if you're using an NVIDIA graphics card, it'll check for CUDA on your system, and assuming you already have CUDA installed, you can skip this step. Then you'll see something about CUDNN. You can type N and hit enter to skip this. You don't need it for this project. If you're using Anaconda or Miniconda to manage your Python environments, you'll see a pop-up like this. And if you do, I recommend choosing yes. That way you can keep all of your different projects and AI programs running separately in their own environments so packages don't conflict. If you're running just plain old Python, or the project installs Python for you, you won't need to worry about this step. Then it'll get to cloning the AudioCraft GitHub repository, which is essentially all of the code behind the project. Then it'll install the required packages. This could take a few minutes as it does download PyTorch, which is around two gigabytes. Then you'll be asked about desktop shortcuts. I'll choose yes here and continue. Then shortly after, AudioCraft will be launched and you'll find a shortcut on your desktop. This of course isn't the official icon. This is just an icon that I've created. Anyways, the program is now up and running. And if you see anything about Trident Audio, there's nothing to worry about here. Things are still working properly. I'll control click this link here to open it in our browser. Though I don't think you can do this with the normal PowerShell window, only with Terminal. You may need to select it by dragging around it and right click it to copy it. Then when we navigate across here in a browser, you'll see something like this. This is the music gen interface. We can enter text here and click submit after choosing one of our models here. Medium, small, and large are all for generating music from text. And the melody model here is for taking an audio melody here and generating music from that using your input as guidance as well. I'll go ahead and select maybe large and I'll give it something to create. So let's go for rap music on top of the Amen break, for example, and we'll just submit it. Now, the first time you click submit, it'll go ahead and download whatever model you have selected here, and it'll take the longest amount of time as it's busy downloading it in the background. This will only happen once the first time you click any of these buttons here, large, medium, small, or melody. You can check your console for download progress. Finally, it finished downloading and actually generated music. You can see that it's completely saturating my 3080 Ti with 12 gigs of VRAM, so you don't really need 16 gigs as they say, as a minimum, definitely not if the largest model loads onto just 12 gigs, but there you go. This is what it sounds like.
not really terrible at all. I'm really surprised by the quality of audio coming out of this. If you listen to anything else that comes to music generation with AI, usually it's really low quality audio. So this is actually surprising and actually really, really good. If we choose the medium model, for example, we should get something similar to using maybe eight gigs of VRAM. And of course, here we have a music response. So we can click play. Uh, not really what I asked for, but uh, kind of got the idea. Let's try something a bit more abstract. Maybe this will return something good. Let's give it a few seconds. Now that the model is done downloading, it should be a lot faster as well. So this time. something a bit more background music-y. Seems like it won't generate singing of any kind or voices of any kind, but it gets the beat down and sort of gets the idea. So we'll give it something super vague and roughly 20 seconds later, we get a response. Okay, well, yeah, it gets the idea. Anyway, this is pretty cool, but we can take it a step further and give it some audio to work with. So I'll select maybe melody. And of course, there are a few basic melodies included down here, which is just Bach. Everyone knows this. And of course, a demonstration text input here, which we can submit. And of course, after the model downloads, it'll be around maybe 20 seconds. So this is what went into it. You know how the rest of it goes, and here's what came out. Okay, well, the first time I ran this through is a bit more uh, put together. Let's try again. Still not exactly there, but it's definitely a heck of a lot better. Obviously, playing around with the settings here may get you something a bit better. And of course, giving it maybe a more specific prompt. But anyways, it's actually really cool tech. And it's absolutely insane that we can run this on consumer hardware. AI really has come such a long way. Now, assuming you don't have a graphics card to test this, there is a Hugging Face space here that you can click and it'll take you across to your browser. Of course, using Hugging Face hardware is paid and of course not always super cheap but at least you can use this on the cloud if you don't have access to a relatively new graphics card anyways that's really about it for this super quick video once again if you found this interesting or of course appreciate the one line installer do consider checking out my patreon or of course clicking thanks or join below my name has been troubleshoot and i'll see you all next time ciao